Just in terms of the ramp up there, we, we did have an analyst on yesterday who said, yeah, it looks pretty promising what you're doing in China, but that in the past, some of what Tesla's done has been to ramp up and bring a lot of employees in, get things up, and then maybe scale back as you see what demand actually shapes up to be. He pointed out that that's not the way it works in China, that if you are working with Chinese companies, with Chinese employees, you don't have that flexibility. What, what do you say to that, and what does that lead you to believe just in terms of profitability or how you're able to be flexible in that market? Yeah, I think uh, what I would say is all of the learnings that we've had in terms of ramping uh, the company both with Model 3 and, the, and S and X uh, have been applied to China. And so the team on the ground, whether it's on the tooling side, whether it's on the uh, workforce side, or even just how we interact with our suppliers have all been uh, um, put into place as we're uh, building the China uh, factory. And so the team's done a phenomenal job. Uh, Ron mentioned Jerome before, he and, and the local team in China have been working hand in glove to make sure that we take uh, advantage of all of the things that we've learned over the last few years. And you know, we're also talking about scaling back this first plant. Well, just making sure you have enough employees to get off the ground and then maybe changing the size of the employment group. But, but once their you first it out. operation, which is just opening, yeah. is uh, to build, to build 3,000 cars a week. That's 150,000 cars a year. On this conference call yesterday, or the day before, day before. So yeah, e Elon said they were going to triple that amount. So basically, instead of doing 3,000 cars a week, they're on the way to 10,000 cars a week or more in China. Let, let me just ask you about a couple of those things, Robin, because um, I said earlier that sometimes Elon overpromises and underdelivers. Ron corrected me and said, no, he overpromises and then delivers just a little later than you thought you were going to get it. <laughs> but let me ask you about a couple of those numbers. Uh, the delivery goal between 360,000 and 400,000 vehicles uh, is that that's the full year vehicle forecast. Do you think that that's an achievable goal? Yeah, so, so the way I think about it is um, to achieve what Tesla has achieved over the, over the last five years, over the last 10 years, you have to set audacious goals and big goals to actually, and then have everybody in the company work like crazy to get there. And again, if I, if I look back over the last five years, nobody had predicted that Tesla would be where they are today in terms of producing 97,000 vehicles a quarter and, or building a factory in China in 10 months. So the team is awesome, and I think part of it is setting those very big goals so that the, the company can rally and get behind them and move forward and move the whole industry forward.